Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a GoFunny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, keep doing everything that you guys do. It never goes unnoticed. We're very, very grateful. Hope you guys are doing all right and may he stay blessed. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to YouTuber insults and Tate and Islam. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I've come together with the one on my charity, which is a hundred percent donation policy, and do amazing work around the world. This winter, our brothers and sisters help to feed those who are in poor conditions and who don't even have a clothing to keep themselves warm. Your small donation might mean nothing to you, but it can change their life and help them survive the winter this year. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. True Geordie, he made a comment. What was that comment? That he's having a feud with our brother, Andrew Tate. There's not many people in the world I have a personal beef with. I've had some internet beefs back and forth. There's very few people I personally dislike. One of them is True Geordie. Anyone who's followed me long enough understands why. He's a very insulting, fat, vulgar. He's a d He's an unlikable person. He's not very smart. And now, after me converting to Islam, he made a piece on one of his podcasts saying that I'm not true in my conversion and then insulted all Muslims. Then the Muslims blow themselves up and that I should go blow myself up. We should all blow ourselves up. Let me tell you something, my friend. And if True Jordy, if you're watching this, this is a message directly to you. There are certain times in life you need to know when to sh fuck up. There are certain things which are not funny. Certain things that are not beyond reprisal. You don't sit and insult a man's religion. Just like you don't insult a man's entire company and the people who work for him, that's one thing. But to insult my religion and the religion of billions of people across the planet making ignorant jokes about blowing ourselves up thinking that's going to go without consequence you're going to learn very quickly my friend that that was a mistake and he's going back and forth so he decided to on a live stream to say that if andrew tate our muslim brother is a true muslim he should go and blow himself up are you fighting andrew tate although i would gladly blow myself up if i could take that shit bag with us um, That's the use of a stereotype there, which is obviously not what he... Uh, I'm just saying, if he really wants to prove it, do, do the right thing. Now, when someone says this, what comes to your mind? I'll be honest, a bigot. You know, somebody who's an Islamophobe. And for him, for him to say that on a live platform, just randomly, to me, shows his prejudice and how he views us Muslims. I mean, I didn't really... I was quite surprised when he said that. Why? Because I've spoken to Drew Jordi. I've spoken to him a couple of years ago when I was after Tommy Robinson, the coward and I finally tracked him down and exposed his fraud and his lies, um, which some of them, um, True Geordie, the, some of the sentiments Tommy Robinson shares, it was like, seems like True Geordie also does. Did he mean it? Did he not mean it? His apology video came out. Did he apologise because his YouTube career was on the line? Did he apologise because he was genuine? We cannot see the heart, as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that we judge from what's apparent. Of course, we shouldn't be fools. But for him to say that truly did hurt me to an extent because he did reach out to me once and invited me and Tommy Robinson to discuss this matter um, and if we maybe did that maybe he would have never said such things he would have learnt and be educated in a polite manner what we Muslims believe and this whole notion of us blowing ourselves up um, you know <coughs> it's not true it's a big fat lie you know it's as good as me coming and accusing true Geordie of being a paedophile because for some reason his age, you know, or his, uh, it comes from a uh, white, uh, a Caucasian background, his middle-aged, you know, white guy. And I could have easily, you know, make that statement, you know, because he meets the profile of those who commit these heinous acts. But, of course, it's, I'm not planning on doing this. I'm just giving you guys an example. Now, our brother Andrew Tate, there was times before he was a Muslim, which he was spewing certain things that Islam and the Sharia called us to refute him on those matters. And I've even used words as calling Andrew Tate, our brother, before he came to Islam, a no-value man. I didn't do this because I had anything personal against him. So when the Sharia calls us to warn against somebody or refute somebody, we do as what the Sharia tells us, not our own ego, not me not liking him or whatever reason it may be. There should nothing be personal against that. However, since he came to Islam, I took that video down. Yes? And since that's the case and he's repented, and now he's our brother in the religion, and somebody else is now attacking him, means he's attacking us. So what that means in a nutshell, brothers and sisters, when the Sharia calls us to defend, we defend. When the Sharia calls us to expose, we expose. We're at a stage where our brother Andrew Tate has accepted Islam and we will defend his honour and not only his honour, but the honour of the Muslims at large. Now, I was going to do this video going on a bit of a rampage with True Geordie. But then I took a step back. I spoke to a couple of brothers, brother Ben on our group and a few other brothers and they said, look, some people make mistakes. We all do. 
and we believe in Islam that everybody sins and the best of sinners are those who repent. Now true Geordie, I, as far as I know you're an atheist, I know you live in the UK and I would like to reach out to you. I'll be honest with you, I was actually planning on confronting you, I'll be very honest with you. Just as Tommy Robinson, I was planning on literally first calling you out for a debate and then after that if you refuse to actually confront you, yes to track you down and confront you. And I don't mean this in a way of being childish but just to, for an academic intellectual discussion for the statements that you said but you've done a video apologizing I don't think we need to go there let's move on from that I think it's best that we move on from that and we as Muslims we tend to be forgiven for those who wrong us so therefore true Jordi if you are up for it I don't want any media platform I don't want any um, attention I'm not doing this for clout I don't want nothing genuinely if you are up for it myself Mohammed Hijab and whoever you would like would like to take you out for a date to a mosque we can come to a local mosque near you you can come to London to us if you like and let's arrange this and come to some understanding and maybe like you saw Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate in back in the days made some Islamophobic comments but like we said God Almighty guides people and he changes the hearts. I'm not going to carry this on for too long brothers and sisters but what I'm going to say in a nutshell is this we are uh, reaching our hands out to True Geordie because I genuinely believe he may be in a place where he's lost, he's an atheist and I want to give him this reminder from the Quran that maybe reflect and I would like to further have these discussions with him in person without cameras, if he wants to record he can but genuinely we just want to show him the true side of Islam which our brother Andrew Tate saw that made him embrace. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا فَأَحْيَاكُمْ ثُمَّ يُمِيتُكُمْ ثُمَّ يُحْيِيكُمْ ثُمَّ إِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ How is it that you deny Allah while you were lifeless and he gave you life? Then he will make you die and then he will make you live again and then to him you'll be returned. As an atheist you believe and if you believe this at one moment of time you was in non-existence, you was dead. If you think about it in that sense you was dead and then you was born. So God Almighty is making you think and saying was you not dead at one moment and you came back to life? I mean well you came to life and Allah is telling us God Almighty that you will once again die just how you was dead before and once again he will bring you back to life and your final return is to him. Our purpose in this life is greater than whatever you want to do and like I said our brother Andrew Tate is a fine example who has all those luxuries but he realized that only in the remembrance of his Lord does hearts find peace. I hope you reflect on that verse and understand that we will return back to our Lord and we definitely do have a purpose just as my camera does, just as the chair I'm sitting on, just as the lighting and this mic they all have a purpose, you also have a purpose. Please reach out to us if you would like to, you don't have to like I said before and I would like to talk to you more about Islam and tell you about what our religion teaches and maybe you have some misconceptions. I'll leave it at that till next time brothers and sisters please send this to True Jordi and hope he watches it and changes his heart and you never know once enemies True Jordi and Andrew Tate yeah might become friends in Islam like myself I was never an enemy to Andrew Tate but there were things that he'd done which I had to warn against now he's our brother we embrace him fully and we forget like it never happened and we and he's probably better than myself and you know many people may Allah keep him firm till next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh a very mature response I feel like um, of course what we should understand is it's my channel I can say what I want it's his channel he can say what he wants anyone can say what they want freedom of speech and that's what we're living by now but um and people in, in this situation people are going to say whatever they want I just love the fact that instead of the confrontation he thought of at first when he watched the video he's thinking of you know what let me just show this person what this is about because many people of course do have misunderstandings of certain things that they don't belong to that's very normal but I don't support confrontations that's why I said it's a very mature choice to actually say you know what that's not worth it we don't have to record anything let's just sit down let me show you what maybe what we do which is um, good I hope we see more of these going forward um, should you insult someone because of their religion no it doesn't matter what religion they belong to you shouldn't have to insult someone even if you don't believe in it even if you think it's trash whatever your thoughts on that religion you don't have to insult anyone because of that 
you have to respect people for people to respect you and i think the world would be better that way and anyway looking forward to these guys meeting should they record it should they not we'll see let me know what you guys actually think about this video was the guy oh and the guys actually said the guy that insulted andre tate apologized if someone apologizes then you should be ready to move on we're all grown-ups we should be ready to let go of certain things you know so let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video